Hello everyone, my name is Mandy, I am the author of the young adult novel Essence, and today we are going to be talking about character development. Now, I got a message from someone on Facebook requesting a video on character development, so of course that's what we're going to be talking about. Now, character development is kind of interesting because there's not really a certain way to do it. One method that I find best is that when I'm first forming a character, I like to write down their description in a certain notebook and that just pretty much means what their eye color is, what their hair color is, if there's any like other distinctive qualities about them, I'll write that down because as you go on writing your story, you might kind of forget them. I know it seems kind of weird for you to be able to forget that, but I forget it all the time. I always mix up hair color. I don't usually mix up eye color, but like for some reason I can never remember my character's hair color. So I always write that down. Now as far as developing a character with like a personality, you pretty much, the only way to do that is by writing the story. And it's really annoying because that means later on you're probably going to have to go back and rewrite the beginning to get that character's personality down pat. But that's really the only way to do it. And I know some people have like certain exercises where they may like write a short story about the character. And if that works for you, then do that. Do whatever it takes to really get that distinctive character personality that you're looking for. It's always a good idea to write down little things about the characters, you know. Just like how I said to write down the description of the character, you should maybe write down some personality traits. If the character's shy, always keep that in mind. Just the big thing about characters is that you shouldn't really think about it too much. When you're writing a story, you're not technically writing a story, you're just kind of following what the characters do. You shouldn't be technically making decisions for the characters. The characters should be making decisions for themselves. When you go to sit down to write, you shouldn't be thinking, okay, what needs to happen next? How should this person react? If you're doing it the right way, the character will just react and you just write down what they do and that's how the story is formed. Sometimes people who don't do this they will make a character do something out of their character's qualities and then it just won't feel right. The reader will sense it, even you as the author will sense it. So you don't want to do that. You just want to do whatever you feel the character would do. You don't need to incline them to do something that is out of character for them. You want them to do whatever would be in their character. I don't really develop character much. I'm the type of person who will just start writing and then I will go back and rewrite the beginning to make sure it matches the rest of the book. But of course the big thing about character development is that you see it as it happens in the novel. So a character not only develops as you write them but it should develop as a reader reads the story also because people change and the big thing about novels is that you get to see the people change as they go through these events and there's these plot twists and the character's personality, I guess you could say, kind of changes. They grow with the story. So once again, I hope this video helped you guys. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe because I have a huge surprise for you guys once I reach a thousand subscribers and last I checked, I was only five away. So the next video will probably be that surprise. So, of course, thank you for watching.